The SASFAB Piquet Math Knowledge Practice Test question says, what is the slope of a line that runs through the points negative 2, 5, and 1, 7? So for the ASVAB and PICAT, you have to know a lot of basic formulas from middle school and high school, including how to calculate slope. Uh, slope is found using the formula M. M refers to slope equals Y2 minus Y1 all over X2 minus X1. And you might be saying to yourself, well, where do I get X1, Y1, X2, Y2 from? Again, all ordered pairs come in the form X, Y. So I can say negative 2 is going to be X1, 5 is going to be Y1, this 1 is going to be X2, and this 7 is going to be Y2. Now that we know those values, we can go ahead and plug them in. Y2 is right here. It's 7 minus Y1. It's 5 over X2. X2 is right here. It's 1 minus uh, X1, which is negative 2. 7 minus 5 is pretty easy to do. That's 2. 1 minus negative 2. Minus a negative becomes a plus. 1 plus 2 is 3. So the slope is D 2 thirds. Now, if you want additional practice with calculating slope, check out the playlist on my channel. I'll put a link to it in the description of the video. But I have playlists for every topic that shows up on the ASVAB. ASVAB. So for example, I have a playlist on slope. The first video gives you a review of how to calculate slope followed by about 15 practice test questions. So check that out. Again, uh, it shouldn't cost you more than $30 to prepare for this test, if that, and uh, it should take you less than a month to get ready for it too. So again, stick with free resources and you'll be fine on this test.